This is how to input direct coordinates into a Garmin DriveSmart. The model you see here is a DriveSmart 50, although this will work on 2555s, 2595s, Drive Assist, the modern DriveSmart 55, 65, and so on. I like using GPS coordinates of I have mentioned in other videos and ordinarily you, I have that listed as a, an icon here but did you know you don't need that icon you can actually do it direct from the search field if you know how to do it so if I'm viewing the map and I go back and I just do where to and I just enter a search if you enter this using the uh, cardinal direction letter, it will actually work. Now the uh, coordinate I'm going to go to is 33.167479 degrees north by 96.666042 degrees west. Well, the way you can I can type that in and if you don't know how to do coordinates, just see one of my previous videos, I explain how to do it. So, north, N, 3, 3, I hit this down here so I can get a period, like that, and then I hit this again to go back to the keyboard, 167479, so 167479, and then a space. And the next one is the west, so W. And again, I hit this so I can get a period. Go back to the keyboard. And then... I'm sorry, I did that wrong. <laughs> wrong spot. You do the uh, cardinal direction, then the first part of the coordinate, then the dot. Okay, sorry. West, 96, and then the period. Okay. And 6660042. So, now this is a typical of how you would type it in on a phone or something like that cuz ordinarily you would type this number in a comma and then a negative 96, but on the Garmin I actually have to type out the cardinal direction as a letter. So if you've done coordinates on a phone, you know what I'm talking about. If not, don't worry about it. So then I just hit search. And sure enough, it will find it. And if I view the map, that is exactly where I want to go. And if I hit go, yes, I'm simulating right now, uh, off I go. And if I look at the directions, sure. It will get me right to that coordinate. So, just to recap, just do a where to and just hit the search field. North, number, and then west, number. Also, I should mention that if uh, this will also work, I believe you need at least four numbers after the decimal, if not five. Well, let's test that. Same coordinate, except I will use uh, four, four numbers after the decimal instead of six. So, north, 33, one, six, seven, four. We'll just use four. West, 96, Six, six, six. Oh, now while this won't have as much resolution, we'll just see if it works. If it fills in the zeros or not. Yes, it did. There it goes. See, what it will do is that it will fill in the zeros at the end. Actually, let's try this with three. Can I do it with three? One, six, seven. Oh, this absolutely will not be the correct spot when I do this, but I just want to see if it works. So I haven't tested this. Will it work? No, you need at least four. Okay, it didn't find that. So, now we know. 
So I need at least four places after the decimal. Less 96. And, uh, and yep, okay. So we'll find four decimals after, uh, excuse me, four numbers after the decimal, but not three. So you have to use that at bare minimum. Now ordinarily what you would do is when you type this in, you would use uh, either five or six numbers after the decimal. But that's all you need. You can actually get the most places using just five numbers after the decimal. Google Maps will list coordinates using six numbers after the decimal. But in reality, all you need is five. Five is good enough.